Good morning, guys. Looks like the airlines are gapping up. I I put these things on my watch list yesterday. Looks like they have found some support since the big pullback after the big runs. They held their rising 50 day moving averages. So I am watching, uh, I think save is going to be my main one. UAL is the one gapping up the most, but I think save is going to be my main watch. I'm all already long NCLH, which is a cruise line, but I'm thinking maybe doing some RCL or, or CCL. No, I'm thinking RCL. Just diversify it a little bit. In case we get some uh, bounces in the beaten down cyclical type of names. <clears throat> Yep, yeah, and I'm lucky. I was I was long BNTX coming into this thing. BNTX is collaboration with uh, Pfizer on this uh, vaccine, so it's gapping up a little bit pre-market, about six seven percent. It's already up like fifty percent since or forty percent since it uh, took out the base here. I'm so happy I rebought it. It stopped me out the first time, if I remember correctly. All right, let's look at my positions. Yeah, BNTX again gapping up on this news. DraftKings. Let's see. It looks like it bounced off the rising 50 day yesterday. Now it's building higher lows. Uh, there could be a long setup in this thing. There, there is a small chance I will switch to a long. Uh, NCLH looks good. Maybe I'll add to my NCLH because it's not that big of a position. Hmm. Nah, I don't know. FMCI, I sized down a little bit into the close yesterday, yesterday since it closed really weak. So I went from 40,000 shares to 25. But if it reclaims that 1750, 18 area, I'm gonna add it back and more. GAN looks good, BLDP looks good, BLE looks good, SC looks good, LABU looks good, TNA looks good. Uh, pretty much everything I'm long looks really, 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 really good. So yesterday before the close I sold JD. Uh, since it never really broke out and it fell back into range uh, late day or midday. Uh, instead I bought DXCM which tried to break out. It's uh, it's shoppier than I thought. I thought it was going to close stronger, but again, I bought a, s a small position. So I sold JD for a small loss and bought DXCM. DXCM is also better, uh, much faster moving stock. JD has ADR of 3.2% and DXCM has ADR of 5%. So DXCM is a uh, much faster mover. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, every all of my longs look great. Wait, am I short something? Yeah, I'm short DraftKings. Uh, let's see. MR, MRNA is gapping down. Again, I bought this thing yesterday, but it's gapping on, uh, down on the BNTX Pfizer news. I'm going to set a stop on it. Uh, APT looks, oh, it's gapping down. BE, BE is gapping down. SHLL gapping down. Workhorse gapping down. I, s I covered a tiny bit. I held 85,000 workhorse short overnight. 
I had a hundred thousand shares short position mid late day, covered some into this flush, held eighty five thousand shares overnight. I think this thing goes back to twelve bucks in the next few well well by tomorrow I think it's possible this thing could go down to twelve bucks. Since Friday's uh, re uh closed, markets are closed. Uh, 6 to 20, yeah, I had workhorse from 360 to 10. If I had held even a small position, if I had a little bit more, more patience, I would have had a, almost a 500% gainer. But I always sell these things too early. It's the same thing that happened a couple of months ago when... Everything I sold went up another 50, 100% in a few days. I hate when that happens. What about BE? Big tune. What about BE? We are long since yesterday. And also, fastly, I, I covered everything yesterday before the close. It closed too strong. It's way too strong. I, I can't hold this thing overnight. Like, as long as the markets are strong, this thing is not going to crack. Why is this UAL gapping up so much more than other airlines? That's weird. So I'm gonna watch UAL and save opening range highs to potentially add some. I'm already pretty heavily long, so I don't wanna go crazy on any of those. Oh, they had news, okay. Uh, Tandem had an entry yesterday, early, early yesterday. Entry on Tandem was sub-92, or at least sub-93. So no, I don't consider Tandem at current low. Guys, you gotta be on those breakouts. You you can't wait for them to go up a bunch and then buy them. You have to like be ready for them. You have to identify these things before they break out and be ready. You know th this thing is this thing was up. This thing is up 13 percent yesterday. This is not a this is not a good buy point. Gotta be ready just when they break out. So no, it, you know, it, it it was a good setup yesterday, but the sub 93 and pr preferably sub 92. It was pretty fast, so you had to be ready. Beyond Meat had a Alibaba partnership. Looks like a lot of these pre-market gainers are fading. Yeah, Tradul, yeah. Don't chase any, you know, you shouldn't, you know, chase any breakouts. You have to be like, all of these things, I'm watching them, right? I look, I identify stocks that look good before they break out in anticipation of them breaking out. I have a lot of alerts at. So once things start breaking out, I'm, I, I'll be ready. <clears throat> All right, let's go through. Oh, why is BE gapping down? Uh. Also, workhorse, I'm willing to add a little bit more to my short.
Yes. That is correct. up in a few minutes I will be stalking fastly but the thing is I want this thing to start topping out below the 20 EMA on the 60 minute chart and then break down right now it looks like it may want to build a high tide flag oh nice you have the same uh, name as me with the same spelling that's cool That's cool. And uh, Nicola. <coughs> yeah, Nicola looks intriguing. It's not going away. It's not going away. So the only things I'm watching at the open are workhorse opening range lows. I think this thing could go to 14 today and maybe 12 tomorrow. And the UAL save opening range highs. Maybe BA also. We'll see. Those are the ones I'm watching. Other than that, that nothing really super exciting. NVAX. Uh, this INO is super annoying. Oh my god, it's gapping down below yesterday's lows. I had a bunch of shares short, but I stopped out of it late day. I didn't want to hold them overnight because it closed strong and now it's gapping down like 10%, 15%. Tarzan? <laughs> we are both misspelling our names. I don't think we are. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we are not misspelling our own names. Pretty sure about that. <laughs> All right, markets are open. Let's let's focus here. Nothing has triggered yet for me. Wait, what? Is BNTX halted? What the hell is going on with BNTX? Yeah, it is halted. Interesting. Okay, I bought some save.
I bought some UAL too. I both bought save and UAL. S uh, 60,000 shares save and 40,000 shares UAL. Let's see if we can get these things running. Oh, fastly, good covers, taking out yesterday's highs already. All the airlines, airlines are running and cruise lines too. Just pick one and or two and NCLH is running. Oh shit! I should have added to it. I'll add more to save, I guess. Oh, it's running away from me. Nah, fuck it. I have decent position in the in these stocks. Yeah, everything is going straight up. This is what the bull market looks like. Easy peasy. You don't you don't really have to work hard for your money. That's what a bull market looks like. <laughs> I wonder where is P and TX is gonna open up. It, it hit 75 pre-market, but I don't know where it's gonna open after the halt. Twilio is a nice flag. PDD is breaking lower. I don't like that. I'm gonna size down my ads. If it stops me out. Workhorse is getting weaker here. Damn, I missed my ad on workhorse. No. God damn. What can you do?
Oh, shit, workhorse. Oh, well. I covered some into this weakness, but man, this is annoying. MRNA, I got stopped out, took a $50,000 loss on it. Square looks like it wants to go parabolic or start a parabolic run. Damn, I was ready to short. I, I tried to get 16 on the pops. I had another 50,000 shares, but I missed it. I was too slow. I, I should have chased. Oh! Sometimes you have to chase. But the question is when? Anyways, I, I, I've been covering. I, I, I've covered 20,000 shares so far into this flush. Maybe we get a nice ad spot later. Yeah, dude, chair, Sir Chairman, stop pumping these illiquid stocks, seriously. This is not even trading. It's, it's just a random stock in a range. Stop pumping these. What 
we don't have a moderator but seriously guys you know these low price stocks that don't don't even trade anything don't even mention these like It's not even doing anything. It's 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 inside of a range. There's nothing there. Stick to things that have volume and that are moving. Exactly, OPGN like Like it's a two dollar stock traded two hundred thousand shares. It's inside of a range. Like what? What do you think? There's, there's nothing here. <laughs> this short looks exactly like it's been lo looking for. Like it's the same short for past three months. W why is it gonna move? Start moving today? No. Yes, so and it's a low price with no volume. Let's stick to let's stick to stocks that actually move. This is not a pump uh, pump uh, chat room or a pump community. That's that's that, that's not what this is all about. We don't pile into some uh, li low uh, liquidity, low price, low float stock and push it higher. That's not what we do. I'm stocking this NVAX opening range lows. The sign of tanked nicely at least. And it's uh, easy to borrow too, that's a good thing. That NVAX. <clears throat> So I shorted 10,000 shares starter uh, on the NVAX. Let's see if this thing can uh, can uh, start moving lower. I'll add more maybe if it starts acting well. Oh shit, I missed... what the hell? Nenvax, I missed that. <laughs> oh, don't tell me it's gonna do a workhorse where it goes straight down. Wait, BE, what's going on? Oh, that's not great. Is there any news? I don't, I don't see any news on BE today. Oh. I thought this thing was gonna go to 20. I really thought so. Let's see if we can find some support. Not a, not great action, uh, but you know, it could still work out. <clears throat> uh, if I like INO for a bounce, um, wait, what area? Twenty eighteen area? No, uh, nah, maybe in a few days if it keeps going lower. Yeah, maybe 18 area. There could be a trade there. M yeah, maybe next week. There could be a trade there next week, absolutely. Oh, Tesla, I need to sell some. This thing is straight. NVAX, I got filled on uh, 9,000 9, shares of this pop. I wanted 10, so I have 19,000 shares now. 
So I'm happy with the size I have. Okay, PDD found support on the rising uh, 65 EMA on the 60 minute chart. Found support perfectly. It undercut the 10 day, but now it has reclaimed and it's still building higher lows. So PDD chart looks very, very powerful. It's intact. It absorbed the dip really well so far. NVAX, I think this thing goes back to low 60s. Wow, MRNA is tanking. Retesting the rising 50 day. Uh, D dog, if I got out of D dog, no. Why would I have? Why would I got? Why? Why did I get out of D dog? Why did you ask that? Is there any reason why you asked that? Did I say I got out of it? No, I didn't. It never closed below the 20 day moving average. It bounced perfectly off the day, 20 day moving average. If it had closed below the 20 day on this day here, I would have probably sold all of it. But it didn't, it bounced perfectly. Fastly, oh, now Fastly is going down again. Oh. Yeah, it's a super annoying stock, it really is. What's your short setup on Etsy? What's your short setup on Etsy? Is there any specific reason you're short? Hope and prayer? That's not a strategy. You need specific setups. What's your setup on Etsy? <laughs> this is a very dangerous type of stock to uh, short. Exactly. There's two reasons. Like, like it's not extended, okay? It's not extended enough. It's just been grinding higher. And two, look at a 60-minute chart. It's above all the support levels. Like NVAC, for example, if you can see, it, this is on backside. It's below the moving averages on the 60-minute chart. It's on the backside, right? But Etsy, this is the, on the front side. All of this here is support. There is really not much downside in it. There's two way, two times you short stocks. Either when they get really, really extended, and those things we've been playing all the, like every couple of weeks, we got an, uh, one or two really good ones over the past few months. And two is when they are on backside. This is neither. This is not a good short candidate. Uh, are they all going down? No, plug is up. BLDP is up. Fuel cell. Well, this thing has no momentum. Well, the fuel cell stocks are overall acting really well. So there's no reason for this BE to be down this much. I don't know why. Maybe they have, a, have an offering or something go, going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to help you identify good setups. I want all of you to make millions. And sometimes I miss good setups, but I, I, can, I can see directly when there's a good setup and when there's not a good setup. And, you know... Like NVAX is a good setup. There's there's several reasons. Okay, it's a big it's a momentum leader that has th this that is finally uh, showing some backside action. Okay, 
all the momentum leaders crash eventually. All the momentum leaders become really good shorts eventually. Okay. Usually either they go parabolic, get super overextended, or and or they show some backside. And this thing is now on backside. And there's also another reason why this could be short. This is a good short fundamental reason. And that is the news from BNTX and Pfizer. And mRNA and INO already tanked on these news. And NVAX is still, well, NVAX is now going lower, but this, this thing just took out opening range lows. So there's two, like there's a technical reason and a fundamental reason for this thing to short this thing. And you have a very set risk. Something like Etsy, for example, it's too random. It's a front side, it's not extended, it's a big momentum stock, but it's really not extended, it's just grinding. And look at this purple line. You see this purple line? This is the 10 EMA on the 60 minute chart. This thing riots, this, this thing acts as a support. Like every time it gets down to these two lines, there are buyers stepping in. So there's really no downside on this thing unless it cracks and holds below these moving averages and then starts going down. For example, like NVAX, this thing has been riding the 10 and 20 EMA on the 60 minute charts and now it's below it, okay? Now these areas act as resistance. Mm. Is BNTX open? Oh, oh, okay. Wow, it actually printed 79.40. 79.38. Oh, I missed my... I didn't... Ah. Uh, let's see. I need to put some sell orders out there. Yeah, easy stock trade. I'm not trying to bash you or anything. I'm just trying to help you identify good setups. It's not like I'm... Sometimes I can uh, sound a little bit pissed off <laughs> when people mention like bad setups. But I'm just trying to be really clear. Like, It's not like I'm bashing anyone. Up 26% since following me? Thanks. I don't want you guys, well, I, you know, I don't want you guys to follow any specific trades I do. What I want you to do is to learn the setups, learn how stocks move. These are universal setups. Like the setups I trade are universal setups. It's the same setups that have been working in stocks for 150 years. You go back and look at the market leaders from the 20s or 50s or 70s or 90s. It's the same set patterns, it's the same setups. There's nothing new under the sun. It's the language of stocks. That's what it is. Uh, QLGN, QLGN, is it a COVID stock with news? Okay. QLGN has some good volume, but looks like it's tanking right now. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, antibody test or what? what it, uh, the news are irrelevant, but you know, you never know when a good pump starts. Another virus stock. I think I have like 200 stocks now. Okay, never mind. 106 stocks in my virus watch list. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fastly. God damn it. 
Maybe I'll add back some opening range lows on the 60 minute chart. I don't know. It feels like it's gonna find support. It's gonna undercut this uh, 20 EMA and then it's gonna go back to 85.90. I, I, I get that feeling. Uh, looks like the markets are going lower for now. Oh, airlines are fading. I stole a tiny bit of NCLH here. It's a big move from entry. I'm up almost or 20% or on it. SC looks great. Tesla is up 10% from entry. I need to sell some more. And also raising my stop a little bit here. PDD looks like it uh, failed on on on, on these uh, 20 10 20 EMA on the 60 minute chart. It couldn't reclaim those, so now it's in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> it looks a bit tired for now. Oh, DXM looks like it got stopped out. No, wait, I didn't have a hard stop on it. I'm gonna use lose for the day now as my stop on it. Gan looks weak. No, it doesn't. Just going sideways for now. Okay, so B looks like it's bouncing off the rising 20 EMA on the 60 minute chart so far. Mm -hmm. 
my opinion on EXO, uh, I don't see anything personally here. If it can go side, it had some random pump yesterday, late day. I don't know if it was short covering, like, uh, or whatever, but, or some chat room pumping it. Uh, maybe if it can go sideways a few days. Volume is dying off, but yeah, maybe, you know, another three, four days sideways, there could be a setup there. Right now, I don't, it's just a pump. This is this has no reason to go up unless someone pumps it or it PRs. Sage, uh, uh, yeah, uh, it looks decent. Yeah, not a momentum leader, but uh, it's a beaten down. It's coming off a little base. Uh, it could work. It's a good setup, but it's, uh, again, it's not a momentum leader, so I'm, not for me. But it could work. It could work. I see the setup. The setup is decent, yeah. So you, ha you have a bit, you know, it's th this thing, you know, had a nice run, went sideways, popped a bit, it went side sideways a bit more, and now it's surfing the rising 10 day, and now it's coming out of this range after a couple of narrow range days. I mean, it's a decent setup. It's a decent setup. Invax is, uh, let's see, it looks like Invax wants to retry VWAP. Momentum leader is any stock that, that's among the one or two percent strongest stocks on any time frame, like three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, 18 months, etc. etc. That's the momentum leader, the one or two percent of the strongest stocks on any given time frame. Facebook, this is actually a decent setup. This thing has some horrible news flow, like all the time. Like this thing, Facebook has had some bad news flow for years, yet it keeps going higher. But this is actually a good setup. It cracked, and now this is on a third day of a bounce. It's a good swing trading setup. It's hitting these uh, 10 and 20 moving averages on the daily chart. Um, but right now it looks like it wants to go higher. A GPS setup thoughts? There is no, I don't see a setup here. Poker face. I, I look at all the opening range time frames, one minute, five minute and sixty minute. I trade them all you but mostly one and five minute. Do you know any European airline ticker you? Uh, I don't know, Norwegian. <laughs> I don't think these things are trade. Uh, they, they're mostly uh, trading on the like uh, pink sheets. This Norwegian is a piece of shit. They, they're they're gonna go bankrupt. They just keep pumping money in this thing. They can make uh, SAS is one. Uh, but I don't know what the, you know, the, the, there are not many of them are listed on the US stock exchanges. Ryanair is one. 
Ryanair, another pink sheet name. Shop is ripping. Uh, yeah, yeah, wow, nice. Yep. Guys, remember when we bought this thing? 793, 794, opening range highs on this day here. This is what a little bit of patience can do. I remember some, someone freaked out. Someone in chat freaked out when it, when it, when the stop, when it went straight down after entry. Like the next candle was a red candle straight down, but it didn't stop us out. It never took out the opening range lows. This is what I keep telling, you know, take your entries, put your stops and don't worry about it. The stock is going to do what it's going to do. And now it's straight up since. There's no reason to look at every tick. Take the one and five minute charts off your, uh, off your setup. Only reason to look at the one or f five minute charts is like right out of the gate. Like the first 10, 15 minutes. After that, there's no use pretty much. TTD, yeah, looks decent. Yeah, look at Fastly, it found support again on the rising 20 EMA on the 60 minute chart. These, these, lines are, these, these lines are not imaginary, these things work. They're not perfect, but they work. Sometimes they work like to the penny. And sometimes they work like a general area, but those things are really, really helpful. Square, uh, square, no. This thing already broke out. It, it's too late. And yeah, no. The entry was like the first one five minute opening range size. Now it's a, it's a bit late in my opinion. It, it's a very extended stock. It, the fail rate up here is super high. Just be aware. The fail rate on this kind of setup is very high. Wow, I have 30 stocks in my portfolio again. I haven't had 30 stocks in my portfolio since like mid-February. And that was before a big market pullback. <laughs> oh, that's not a good sign, guys. 30 is a, it's a magic number. It's a bad omen. Shit. It means a pullback is coming. Not great. <laughs> no, seriously. The, pa the last two times I had 30 stocks in my portfolio, the market tanked within one or two weeks. When was the last? I know last time I had 30 stocks was like early mid-February. And before that, it could have been, I, I think it was like April or May, like April last year. That was also before a market pullback, like an extended market pullback. Th that, that, those are the two last times I had 30 stocks in my portfolio. Not, not a good sign, guys. <laughs> Please sell something. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sell down to 20 pos positions and we're not going to get a market pullback. I I'm playing market god here. KC. Yeah, KC, I have it on my watch list. Yeah, it has uh, had a... Yeah, it had a breakout. Uh, it was a shoppy one. I, I actually did see it when it broke out, but I passed on it. I had so many other things. <laughs> not great, not terrible. Don't show a screenshot. No, guys. I'm not going to show you any screenshot. I had some sick numbers a couple of weeks ago. Holy fuck. Before I started sizing down my portfolio. I had some sick numbers. Holy shit. 
I had like th over 3 million in unrealized profits. <laughs> it got to a point I was sweating. So I, I, I had to sell down a little bit as the market started pulling back. Yeah, I, I, th I think day trading, I, I always found that day trading on the short side was easier. When I was day trader, I, I was mostly doing uh, shorts. It was just, in some way, it was easier. It was easier to find those setups. My TC2000 setup? What do you mean? I mean, it's very easy to build a setup like this. You just... Do a new chart, then you kind of tab it anywhere, and you can have as many charts as you want, and watch lists and scans. That it's it's not hard. I don't even know. Can you share? Can you share these things? I don't know. Oh, here, share layout. You guys want? Uh, I can I can post my uh, layout here in in uh, here. Here's the link to my TC2000. Uh. But you gotta do put your own scans and stuff in here, I think. Or do you get my... Uh, can you get my sh uh, scans too? Maybe you can. That would be pretty good. Can you show us a pic of your desk office setup? Yeah, sure I can. Uh, <laughs> Sure, I can. Sure, I can. Where the hell did... Oh, here's my phone. Uh, do you own real estate? I own real estate and I own crypto. Yes, both. This is my... Uh, I'm gonna post it on Twitter, I think. Wait, I can't. I don't have the Twitter app. Oh, fuck's sake. I don't have the Twitter app. Maybe if I... Uh, I just save it on my Google Drive and take it from there. EA yeah, investors like primarily shorts, he day trades. Polaroid photo, yes. Yeah, I opened up the window blinds. <laughs> Yeah, I have the platinum. Uh, I have the highest tier of subscription subscription on uh, TC2000. You gotta have real time data. You gotta at least get the real time data version. Otherwise, it's a waste of time.
Uh, easy stock trader. I'm gonna upload this stream uh, to YouTube. I'm, I, I almost always upload my streams to YouTube. You can go back and look at almost all of my streams. Sometimes I forget, forget to record them, then I don't upload. Upload, I, then I can't upload it. But uh, this, today I, I, did for, uh, I didn't forget to record. Uh, what's going on with Workhorse? Oh, it's bouncing. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, please get back to 16. Please get back to 16. Please. Oh, by the way, I'm going to upload uh, the picture of my uh, setup. Oh, actually, I don't have to upload it. Guys, someone asked me. Uh, about my office setup. This is my office five minutes ago. This is what it looks like. I'm on the second floor. Or my office is on the second floor. <laughs> These, this is a 27-inch uh, gaming monitor. These are 34-inch widescreens. This is a 34-inch, 32-inch uh, 4K, and this is a 14-inch uh, uh, laptop. And I usually have this screen uh, connected to the laptop. Uh, I usually use this only at the open when I have a bunch of stocks to watch intraday. Then I use eSignal. And I have three, four stocks I watch here, uh, but then rest of the day I just, when I stop streaming, I usually just take my lap, laptop and go away. Like either I go outside and get some tan or I sit downstairs on the sofa or, you know, in the kitchen or whatever. Maybe I go for a drive. But I mostly, I'm mostly in the office only like when I stream, like first hour and a half, two hours. Then after that, there's no point in having all of these screens. <coughs> is that IKEA? Yes, the share is IKEA. That is that is correct. No, not the share. Sorry, the table. The share is some kind of a Italian brand. Uh, but the 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 table is IKEA. It's uh it's an electric one. You can raise it and. Uh, all of that stuff, but I never use that function because I always sit down. <laughs> I'm too lazy. Hey guys, those of you got the, uh, a template on TC2000, can you also see my scans and watch lists? Did you also get those? Are they two 34 inch? No, they're exactly the same. You have this exact same table? Yeah, it's a great table. Oh yeah, you 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 got my scans too? That's awesome. Dun, 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 oh, the airlines and cruise lines are fading. Plug is going higher though. What if plug wants to go parabolic? I've seen this I've seen this before. I've seen this before. I think they had another PR of some kind. Uh... Man, plug oh man, uh, it's a dangerous setup. It's a dangerous setup. But well, this thing could go to like 12 bucks. This is oh man, hmm. Not my traditional type of setup, but I've seen this movie before. You know what? I'm going to move my Tesla stop to break even. And shop if I need to sell some. This thing is straight up. It 
feel you is breaking higher. Oh, it looks like DXCM stopped me out. Took a $33,000 loss on it. Wait, what? I had $1.30 slippage? Bastards. Those bastards. I don't know who those bastards are, but those bastards. They got me. They got me. Okay, PDD I size down. This thing is... Oh, this is not good. It's... Uh, Losing the 10 day, not good, not good, not good at all. If it closes below the 10 day, I'm going to size down even more. Let's do another scan here. Some of the growth stocks are going straight up. But I don't know, it feels like the market is getting a little bit tired. It kind of feels like that. I don't know what to do with that information. Like obviously it can keep going, but it feel, like things are not as powerful, like the breakouts are not as powerful as they have been over the past two and a half months. Oh, GSX, look at this piece of shit, it gapped down today. Ha, huh. had a nice breakout yesterday from a little bit of a flag. Du, du, du. This nickel is not going away. Just not going away. It's intriguing. Zoom undercut the rising 10 day again and now it reclaimed that it's going to range. This could, you know, I, I, I still have a feeling this thing is gonna go parabolic to 300 plus. It's just not going away. When you have an extended stock like this, every time it dips a couple of percent, the, the buyers come in and bring it higher. This is this is this this thing could be really powerful. When an extended stock refuses to dip, that's usually a sign. Oh, plug broke higher. Ah, oh. oh well. Nah, nah, not really. It's not really breaking down, it's still inside of this, it's holding this 54 area, which is the, like a channel lows. It's one barometer of speculative money, like it's, it's not the barometer, like. B bouncing so far after rising 20 EMA on the 60 minute chart. 
SHLL looks like shit. SHLL is now backside, it's below this, uh, this, this declining 10 and 20 EMAs on the 60 minute charts. Not great sign. Nvidia. Yeah. <sighs> GAN exploding? No, it's not. It's barely up. Guys, stop waiting. Look, look at these like intraday charts on these things. Like, like an hour ago, someone said GAN is weak. Now it's exploding. It's just inside of a range. It's not even doing anything. Like, don't watch every tick on these things. Once you have an entry, put a stop and stop watching these things. There's just no use. Let the stocks do what they have to do. I don't no, I don't look at market cap. I, I don't give a shit. I look at liquidity. But the, obviously if it's a very small market cap, I may, you know, be careful with a short because, you know, those things can double, triple overnight, no matter how extended they already are. Da, 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 da. Easy stock trader, what, why is the market near all time highs? I cannot figure that out. Because that's what markets do, they go higher. If you can't figure it out, you need to study market history. This is nothing new. Markets have gone, uh, hit all time highs before when everything is shit. This is nothing new. You need to study market, market history. Are you going into <laughs> pinstripe suits got me? Yes, they got me. Yeah, Okta, yeah. Okta has been on watch. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty. The funny thing is I had it here. I had it here in the low 190s, like 193 or so. Yeah, now it's pretty. I got stopped out. Or I, I actually didn't get, got, get stopped out. I just thought the markets were going to pull back hard. And Yeah, uh, yes, Nikola has some warrants. They're, they're going to be available for trading. Or they're going to be exercisable tomorrow, I think. Uh, so, yeah. We'll see. It's getting really tight here. It's going to be both a good uh, but long and a good short starting maybe tomorrow. But if this thing breaks out after the words come uh, exercisable and it starts going up on volume, it's going to be a sick long because I think a lot of people and maybe even funds are short this thing. This thing is like a pre-revenue concept company and it has, what's the market cap, 24 billion? Holy shit. This thing could pull a Volkswagen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, I still think if you want to play these semi stocks, Soxel is the best one. Like, all the semi stocks are super slow. Like, Nvidia is a super slow stock. But if they're going to go. Like, what's this? IMX, XLNX, all this. Yeah, look, XLNX, someone posted it yesterday. And now it looks like shit. I still think Socks or the triple ETF. This is the best bet. This is where you get the most bang for your buck.
<laughs> that dude guy, I have no idea. Just follow price action. Who knows? I, I, I have no clue. Uh, net. Uh, yeah, it looks decent. It's just it's ri ri riding the rising ten day. I have no idea what the Warren Talders are thinking. I don't know who they are. I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know what their plans are. No idea. Is the TC2000 silver for 10? I don't know. I don't know what the difference is between the plans. I know what I have the ex most expensive plan. As, as, as long as you can get real-time data, it should be good. I don't know what the difference... Oh, anyway, the TC2000... Is it Worden.com, right? Worden.com. Uh, I don't know what the difference is with the plan. You'll be read. TC2000, let's see here, pricing, software, let's see here, so you have silver, gold, and platinum, I have the platinum, that I know, so what's the difference here, customizable, easy scan, stock, and options, okay, yeah, silver is not a good one, no, silver is not good, short drawing, wait, you don't get any, no, 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 you, you should get at least gold, silver is shit, You can't do. You don't have sortable watch list at silver. Yeah, you should get at least um, gold. Uh, up to thousand alerts. You you probably don't need platinum. I, I I probably don't need platinum either. But I'm rich. I don't give a shit. Uh, let's see, Codex? Yeah, Codex I was watching earlier. Uh, well, right now there's nothing here. But I'm, I'm gonna set an alert. Uh, if it starts breaking out tomorrow, if it takes out yesterday's highs, I may add a little bit to this thing. It's been building higher lows for a while now. It's rise, riding the rising 50 day. It's not an ideal type of a setup, but just the fact that this thing is holding up with a lot of the other COVID stocks pulling back. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. It's showing relative strength compared to a lot of the other sector uh, stocks in the same sector. Oh, UAL, I got stopped out, it looks like. I got stopped out of UAL. I took a $34,000 loss on it. <sighs> that sucks. Wow, MYOS, huge volume. Where is it done? That sucks. NVAX is bouncing so far. We'll see how it acts. What's INO doing? INO is just going lower. Yeah, that's that's another thing. You have to look at where the relative strength is. Yeah, I, I'm still in save. I'm actually break even on save. I took a $34,000 loss on uh, UAL, but I'm, I'm break even on save. And it's not even close to the lows of the day yet. So yeah, there's some relative strength there. That's something, you know, keep an eye on. 
Dell also took out the lows for the day, while AAL is well, AAL is about to take out lows for the day. Cruise line stocks look stronger. IGV, QQQ, this software and tech are hitting, about to hit all-time highs. Big tune, what do I, I, I talked about B like five times yesterday. First of all, it's a fuel cell stock. It's one of the hotter sectors right now, okay? Just look at plug and BLDP. Right, it's a it's it's one of the hottest sectors right now. This thing hasn't gone yet. Yesterday, it had a PR with Samsung Heavy Industries. Okay, they're gonna develop fuel cell powered ships. Okay, that's huge. This is some small cap name. Samsung Heavy Industries. That's a huge company. That's a huge huge company. I think at least. Well, Samsung is a huge, huge company, and this is just one part of it. And it's just coming out of range. It had its biggest volume day ever yesterday. Biggest volume day ever. Okay, huge volume breakout. This could be, be the start of a big move, but obviously right now the price action is a bit disappointing. That that what I like. That's what I like about BE. SFET. Uh, yeah, it looks like some kind of random uh, pump stock. <coughs> Team? Uh, it's a shoppy name. If you trade this, you, you have to use a white stop. It looks decent, but it's a very shoppy name. Understand that this is this is not a momentum leader. I wonder how many alerts I have. So there, 122. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I, I have a, I have use for the, uh, the platinum. 122 active alerts. Should I go all in B search your money? I don't know if you're uh, trolling or if you're serious. Dean, it's not an electric ship, it's fuel cells. Or uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, fuel cells, it's, uh, what, what is it called? Oh, what's the name? Oh wait, uh, it's hydrogen, it's hydrogen. Yeah, it's exactly. It's hydrogen. You, you, you can refill it like you do with gasoline because it's it's liquid. It's in liquid form. You have these big tanks with hydrogen. Yeah, it, it's not electric. Well, of course, Elon thinks hydrogen is stupid because he has he has spent like most of his net worth on electric. <laughs> but hydrogen is much cleaner. You don't need all these dirty batteries. That's the thing. Like, I mean, for cars, like for regular cars right now, batteries are obviously better. But for a lot of like long haul trucks, ships, stuff like that, uh, hydrogen is much better. You don't need those big, huge, heavy, super expensive batteries. But from my, what I understand, like there's not as much juice in hydrogen. You don't get the same like acceleration and things like that. 
and obviously you know like a regular gar with shitty acceleration you know you don't want that but for like heavy heavy like these long haul trucks and ships and that's no no problem maybe even trains FUV, uh, FUV. Oh, these, yeah, RC Moto. They do the three wheeler one. RC Moto. I read something about these guys. <laughs> Let's see here. FU. <laughs> nice. Like these things are probably not gonna sell a lot in the Western world. But in a lot of developing countries, like these things, you see these kinds of uh, cars or whatever you want to call them, like everywhere. But these things are probably expensive as hell. Who the hell wants to buy something like this? How expensive are these things? Pre-order? Oh, starting at... Wait, so, so one of these costs 20,000 bucks? Really? Starting at 20,000? Okay. That's, uh, I think, a little bit expensive for, for something like that. There's no way I would pay 20k for something like this. I mean, like, you get into an accident, you're dead. You're dead. There's no protection. You can get a real car for that kind of money. You can buy, like, a small car, like a real car. I mean, what if you get hit from the side? You're fucking dead. You're gonna be like a blood stain on the ground. I, I think this is totally stupid for anyone to buy in the Western world. Maybe like in India or something. Where these things actually sell. I don't know. Oh, it is Asia? Yeah. Okay. A Mercedes S-Class? Uh, yeah, maybe a 10-year-old Mercedes S-Class. <laughs> AMRH, what I think about AMRH, uh, I, I think there's nothing here. It's just a random chat room pumping it right now. That's why it's going up. Don't be the guy who they sell into. Yeah, I, I think like a used premium car for that price is 10 times more value than that thing. Some kind of startup, you know. Exactly. Hey, God, it's better to pay uh, pay twenty two thousand to David in 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 the chat than to buy that thing for uh twenty two uh, for twenty k. It's better value. Thank you. You're welcome, David. Because that thing will break down in a couple of years. David, he will never break down. He's going to annoy you forever. Like, you'll, you'll never get rid of him. Dun, 
Let's see here. SC. I only have a small position of SC left. I have like 15% or so from my original original entry. I'm gonna raise my stop now a little bit more. Tesla. Yeah, Tesla looks great. Probably gonna sell a bit more of Tesla here. It's getting a little bit long in the tooth here. I still think 1200, 1300 is very reasonable, but you know, I'm just, you know, trying to play defense. I sold, sold a bit more. So I have, uh, I've sold about 20% uh, of my shares from 1002, 20% so far. Hopefully this thing can keep going for another three, four days, goes to 1300. The higher, the better, and then we get a good short setup on it, hopefully. Shopify is nice. Let's see how much of Shopify do I have. Need to sell some more Shopify too. Raising my stop on Shopify a little bit too. UA oh, UAL, I got stopped out. BLDP looks gonna raise my stop a little bit. NCLH, NCLH, I'm long from lower, so this uh, this doesn't do really anything for me. Save. Oh, it looks like I got stopped out of save. I took a twenty twenty seven thousand dollar loss on it. Wait, what the fuck is going on with the NVAX? Oh, come on. I'm down 43k on it. Oh. This thing came all the way back. What a piece of shit. Really? B E oh man I I we're in that type of a market where my longs don't work and my shorts don't work. <laughs> Sometimes it just happens. Okay, some days are like that. Just have to accept it and move on. I'm gonna raise my T N A stop to break even. Also, T N A showing some relative weakness. I don't like that. WRTC. Sure, why not? <laughs> what? Copy of my layout? Don't come with a news note. Just for your information, your nudes are safe. Oh, I never thought about it that way. Okay, so all my passwords and nudes are safe? Okay, that's good. Whew. <laughs> but you, you did so what exactly did you get from the from the layout did you got like did you get exactly like what i what you see here on the screen with the all these shards all the watch lists and the scans did you get the scans and watch lists too or Can I start OnlyFans? Oh, you motherfuckers. You guys are dirty. No, I'm not going to start any OnlyFans.
Uh, hype stock trading. No, I'm gonna get the car in about three, three and a half weeks. Uh, end of Ju July is when I get my car. Top right of my screen, what? It's a BMW X5M, the new one. The new one. Yeah, my footballer BMW. What the hell is this thing? NVTA. Mm, it's setting up. Maybe in a few days could be like a high tide flag type of setup in it. This thing, uh, yeah, it, it looks good. Taking out the multi year range, big volume day. Had the biggest volume day ever on this, uh, on this day. Uh, yeah, sure. Not bad looking. Oh, come on. NVAC just keeps going higher. Man, actually the 60 minute chart, it did put in another higher low if you look at it here. Damn. It found support. I'm so annoyed. This INO and NVAX, they were so shoppy. I hate when they get shoppy. I only want clean, clean trades. But sometimes you, you, you're gonna get a lot of shop and you, you know, that's why you need risk levels to manage shop. La 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 la. <laughs> Stocks only go up? Yeah, I know. But, but tell that to MRNA that I got stopped out of today. Tell that to MRNA. This thing didn't only go up. Tell that to UAL and tell that to SAVE. Which were also two stocks I got stopped out of. So I don't think stocks only go up. Workhorse? What's about? Oh, oh it's coming back. Looks like workhorse is coming back. Oh, it could easily go back to 17 bucks. I still have 60% of my shares from yesterday. I had 100,000 shares. I have 60,000 shares left. But I think it goes back to 12. It's shopping around here. I'm going to lo actively look for, a, for an ad spot maybe later today. Ah. <sighs> Exactly, I'm gonna report them to DDTG. David Day Trader Global Global. Best, best, best name ever. What are the other virus plays doing? I don't know. Well, I don't know. So slip down. MRNA. MRNA, there could be a short entry coming up tomorrow or next few days. If it loses the 50 days. So far, it found support on the rising 50 day. But if this thing starts breaking down on the weekly chart, this thing could easily fade back to like high mid 40s. So if you can get an entry where you can risk like a dollar, dollar 50. You know, there's 10, 15 dollars of downside. Something I'm definitely gonna start stalking. Hopefully, it puts in a tight sideways day tomorrow and then on Monday breaks down if it's gonna do that. VXRT, uh -huh. QDLOPK, CY. CYDI had a sick fade yesterday, went down 50, almost 55% intraday. <laughs> That's an insane move. SRNE creeping higher. Da, da, da. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, what? No, it doesn't limit you with small caps. It limits you on everything. It's a stupid rule. It's a totally retarded rule. Like, ugh. doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, he's been doing it for a while, this Scrabble bag. <laughs> That's the type of market we are in right now. QLGN? Why do you want to love QLGN? It's just going down. There's no reason to be in this thing. Never love your stocks, always love your stops. Trade options? You can go to, you can go gamble however you how much however much you want. You can do whatever options you want, but you can't do more than three day trades per week or per f five days or whatever it is. It's it's so retarded. It doesn't even make any fucking sense. Exactly. Yeah, it's so stupid. It's like the dumbest rule ever. Exactly. I remember I was, uh, you know, under the PDT rule for for a couple of years. It sucked. It's just super annoying. Sometimes you get stopped out of something, but you don't want to sell it because you're going to trigger a PDT, you know. Horrible, horribly. It's just, oh. I think you should... Uh, I think there should be a uh, death, death sentence for politicians and regulators. I really do. I really do. If you do a political decision or some regulatory stuff and it flops 10 years later, it was a flop. You should get executed. I, I promise you, like all the stupidity in politics and all the regulatory stupidity, it will go away overnight. We're gonna be on, on the moon. We, we're gonna we're gonna be colonizing the, the universe within 10, 15 years. We're gonna cure cancer. Everything is gonna get better. It's a win win win. There used to be a good offshore broker, or good or good. There used to be sure trader. They don't exist anymore, I think. But I used the sure trader back in 2012, 2013. Oh yeah, the five, yeah, the five cent rule. That was another dumb one. Thank God they got rid of it. Guys, if you get a parabolic move on a daily, it's going to be parabolic on the weekly too. HCCH. It's because David and Reno. They, they got me into this piece of shit and now it's not going anywhere. Interactive Brokers is decent. Yeah, David, you should be ashamed. Why is this thing not going up? I thought he was going to be the next VTIQ, or now it's called Nikola. Like, that thing went up 600% uh, in, a, in a month. from your mention. So I, I'm expecting at least 600% on HCCH2, but it's not going up. Why, why? Why is this one not going up? SHLL? Oh, I got stopped out of SHLL, it looks like. 
Yeah, that was a good one too. I bought it opening range highs on this day here, like 1994 or something like that. And it went up 74% in two days. That's a pretty good one. But now it looks like it's kind of fading here. But that was nice. That was like $200,000 $200, trade, if not more. Right now it's um, not going anywhere. So I got stopped out of that one. I don't know. I'm, I'm seeing some mixed signals. Like I'm seeing some speculate. I, I don't know. Like things don't have choose right now. I don't know what to do with it. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do last. Um, gonna go through my longs or my portfolio one last time. See what we have here. Oh, this NVAX is gonna stop me out. I f oh, it's gonna stop me out. Oh, gonna take a nice loss on it. Probably like 60, 70k loss on it. I can't win on those things. Oh, uh, workhorse. Look at this. I'm gonna look for a solid range on the 60 minute short on workhorse to, to get short uh, or to add to my existing short. Maybe we get it in you know later in the later today or maybe not. Ha anyone here knows which S pac uh, Peloton on the Roku platform really? That's good, I guess. Okay, I really don't see much value here for rest of the day. Most things look like a waste of time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep stocking workhorse for an ad. Maybe we're gonna get a flush into the close like we got on INO yesterday, like a big flush, like mid, mid late day. Obviously, this thing bounced la later, but so far a mixed type of plug is gonna be a great short in a couple of sessions. Hopefully, can extend to fifteen or something. All right, guys, thanks for joining today, and I'll see you tomorrow. I don't see much more value for now. <laughs>